the Gospel Reflection of the Day brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul. Shalom friend and welcome to Tuesday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. February the 6th, 2024, and we celebrate and commemorate St. Paul, Mickey, and Companions. Our theme for reflection today is looking beyond the surface. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 7, verse 1 to 13. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed. The purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you, hypocrites? As it is written, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching us doctrines, human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, how well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. The Gospel of the Lord In today's Gospel, we see Jesus confronting the Pharisees, exposing their tendency to elevate human traditions above God's commandments. Like the meticulously hand-washed disciples, we too can get caught up in ritualistic practices, focusing on the outside show of faith while neglecting the internal condition of our hearts. Just as a handshake doesn't guarantee genuine friendship, outward piety doesn't equate to true spiritual connection, dear friend. It's easy to fall into this trap, you know, like judging others by external appearances, while overlooking our own internal battles. Perhaps we prioritize social media feeds over genuine connection or chase fleeting trends ever and over meaningful purpose. We like the Pharisees risk sacrificing the essence of love and care on the altar of superficiality. Friend, let us shun superficiality. Let us learn to be true to ourselves. Have we prioritized meticulous church attendance, for example, over acts of mercy towards struggling neighbors? Do we tithe diligently yet harbor resentments towards loved ones? This and more are the uncomfortable questions Jesus compels us to ask ourselves and to make an introspection of our lives. But again Jesus offers a path of transformation. He calls us to look beyond the surface, to confront the darkness with ourselves and choose compassion over judgment. Just as the true defilement comes from within, so too does our potential for healing and light. Let us not become like the Pharisees, sacrificing the essence of faith for the sake of appearances. May we instead strive for integrity, 
where inward devotion manifests its outward care and compassion. Let our hands, cleansed not by rituals, but by genuine love, reach out to the vulnerable, the ostracized, the forgotten. In this way, our faith transcends mere tradition, becoming a living expression of God's love in the world. And so we pray. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for always being there for us. Thank you for teaching us a hard lesson of focusing within our hearts and not the external appearance. Reveal where our priorities have become misplaced. Cleanse us of empty rituals and fill us with a genuine love that spills beyond ourselves. Grant us, dear Lord, the courage to see beyond the facade in myself and in others. Guide me to prioritize love over appearances and let our actions speak louder than any external gesture. Guide us, Lord, not by the rules of men, but by the compassion of your heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today as brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul.